welcome to this new subject, food and textile studies. There are two components, food and nutrition and textile studies. Today we'll look at nutrition and health, basically the importance of nutrition. Let's look at the learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to state the importance of healthy nutrition in your everyday life, classify foods into the free food groups. Do you know what nutrition is? Every day you consume different kinds of food. These foods influence your health. So, nutrition is the process by which your body is nourished by the food you eat. Let us see what food is. Foods are edible substances that come from both plants and animals. They are available in both solid and liquid state. Do you know why you eat food? You eat food to grow, to carry out various activities, to protect the body against diseases, for pleasure, and to socialize, to share with friends and others. Now let's look at the classification of food. Food is classified according to the main functions in the body. They are food for energy, food for growth, and food for health. Now let's look at the free food groups plate model. You have food for energy, food for health, and food for growth. Now let's look at food for energy. Foods that belong to this group provide the body with the energy required for carrying out our daily activities. Some examples of foods for energy are bread, rice, farata, dalpuri, macaroni, cooking oil, butter, margarine, and biscuits. Food for health. Foods that belong to this group protect our body against diseases. Some examples of foods for health are fruits and vegetables. Food for growth. Foods that belong to this group help the body to grow and repair body tissues. Some examples of food for growth are milk, eggs, meat, pulses, seafood, nuts, and soya. Well, we've reached the end of today's lesson. In the next program, you will learn about a balanced diet. Thank you very much. Goodbye.